I'm gonna dip my toes in the old pop culture pond. See how cold the waters are. Uh, I just saw this on X. Uh, an all-female reboot of Fight Club is moving forward at Fox with Greta Gerwig is set to direct. Exciting. <laughs> Margot Robbie and Charlize Theron are in talks to star. That'd be great if they do it topless. They have to be a topless Fight Club. Hey, Brad Pitt and Edward Norton had their shirt off through a good portion of that shirt, so I think they should probably do the same if they're doing it one for one. I heard it was not. This wasn't happening. This was all nonsense. Hopefully. I hope this, I hope this goes through. I've been waiting for an all-girl version of Fight Club. You can never have too many girl bosses. It's going well so far, hasn't it? They should keep doing it. White women can't jump. That should be the next one. They do the old the Woody Harrelson, Wesley Snipes movie from the early 90s. Needs to be remade. Wine moms can't stop thirsting after young dudes. I don't know. You, you have to come up with your own movie. But anyways, we're going to be treated to quite the thing here. Because Greta Gerwig is nothing but fantastic at making movies. Okay, here's the article. We're going to read it. And we'll try not to die of stage five strep throat. Here is from the direct. Discussing, discussing films, tweet. <laughs> trying to figure that one out. It's a Rubik's Cube of pop culture. Rumors about Greta Gerwig's all-female Fight Club reboot explained. We're going to get an explanation, because I want an explanation of how great it's going to be. That's the explanation I want. A post on X, formerly Twitter, seemingly posted by Discussing Film, appears to tease that Barbie director, that's where it is, she was the Barbie director, that's why, Yep. But that was also a fantastic movie. I had a great time there. It was wonderful. It made me feel, when, when you get out of that movie, you really feel good about, you know, men and women's relationship in society. A tale of the, the dynamic between men and women in this country. The meta-commentary. Isn't that, what, isn't that what the kids are calling it? I think that's what the kids are calling it. Greta Gerwig is in line to direct a reboot of 1990s Fight Club. It's taken way too long. That's what, that's what I think. It is said to be an all-female reboot featuring Barbie's Margot Robbie. It's a great choice. And Mad Max, Fury Road, Charlize Theron. If I'd, I'd rather have Sydney, Sydney Sweeney, right? And she'd be better. Are they going to have, they should have oil too. It should be a giant pool in oil, like uh, baby oil or mineral oil. That's good too. Be oil fight club. <laughs> there, yes. Yes, it's branding. Give me in on this project, okay? I've got a set of glasses here. I can read. There, I'm ready. Put me in. I can write. I, I can write the next oil fight club. Or fighting oil club? I don't know. What do you guys think? What should we name it? This is to keep the blue light from the screen from hurting my eyes. And the only side effect is I look stupid and it doesn't work at all. This post is verif verifiably fake. Has never shared a rumor on any of its social media accounts. Wait a minute. It's verifiably fake based on the fact that they haven't shared rumors before. <laughs> what? It is also important to remember that 20th Century Fox is now a Disney entity. That division now produces films under the 20th Century Studios banner. And Fox does not technically exist anymore. Well, okay. But they only just purchased them recently, right? Can't things have been in the works for a while? Didn't, didn't Fox just sell? When was the merger? So he could have been originally under the 20th Century Fox banner. But then when Disney bought it, it just became a part of Disney's holdings or whatever, their assets as a part of buying a studio, 20th Century Fox. March 20th, 2019. Okay, so 2019, still, they could have written it back then. There are movies that have been written that, are, you know, takes years to produce. Unless 20th Century Studios comes out and says, no, it's not. <laughs> take it, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, right? There's no official Fight Club remake in development. Well, yeah, they wouldn't tell it until it's actually, you know, being shot, probably. She's working on two movies based on the Chronicles of Narnia book series. And they're doing it for Netflix, so that should be another spectacular winner. Robbie's next project is a big, bold, beautiful journey. Robbie's. Every time I hear that, I keep thinking of a friend named Rob of mine. Robbie's. Robbie's. I wouldn't want to have sex with him, though. I mean, not unless he showered more regularly. And then maybe. A big, bold, beautiful journey. God, that's a, that's a mouthful. I don't know if I can fucking say that. Colin Farrell, Jody Turner-Smith, and Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Oh, man, she is the... She did such a good job in Indiana Jones. I'm not surprised that she's Getting in, in movie titles like A Big, Bold, Beautiful Journey. Quality actress right there, I tell you. Or actor, I don't know how she uh, describes herself. She might have a penis, too, I have no idea. Well, that's that. It's, it looks like it's all bologna sausage. But maybe they just want to throw us off the scent. Maybe that's what it really is. Would you really be shocked at this point? That they, that they might be doing a, a reboot of Fight Club with all girls? Like, of course. Of course they would. Put nothing by these people. They will ruin everything. 
That's their job. And I will catch you on the next video until we meet again. Come on the adventure.